two police-involved shootings in Baltimore in just a matter of days. A man is in critical condition after being shot by officers in North Baltimore this morning. Police say the man was threatening people with two knives. And WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Abajoy Burnett has why the officers say they had no choice but to shoot the suspect. Abajoy? Denise, good evening. Police say that suspect did not listen to orders to drop his knives, so officers were forced to shoot him. That suspect was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Cell phone video shows the moment the suspect is hoisted into an ambulance. The scene unfolded Friday morning along Greenmount Avenue in Waverly. Uh, a guy danced around two knives in his hands. Police told him to drop the knives. I mean, another police pulled up and they shot him. Police say the suspect had two knives, and when verbal warnings and a taser didn't work, the officers were forced to shoot. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. We've got a man armed with two knives who's threatening people going about their business in Waverly. He's threatening people waiting for a bus stop. And thank God that we had someone call 911. A worker in this building told me police visited to review their security footage, but the camera that was pointed directly at the scene wasn't working at the time. Three days ago, police shot a man during a traffic stop in West Baltimore. The commissioner says that suspect had a gun and confronted officers, but he's expected to survive. For this latest case, some are questioning if police did everything possible before they fired several shots. Even if he pulled a little knife out, you see he's intoxicated. They're supposed to be trained to handle that better. They have tasers. They have so many other options. Now, at least one officer was wearing a body camera. The police commissioner says the video will be released if it's of any value. Reporting live tonight at City Police Headquarters, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Avajoy. Now, again, the suspect was taken to the hospital in critical condition. He has not yet been identified.